today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 10 of Komi Sai Can't Communicate. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I don't know how in the world I got this. Well, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, God, it's almost 4. I am like kind of sleepy, but I still have so much to do. Is this going to give me, like, Miss Kobayashi May Dragon vibes, you know, where I'm, when I was cheering for Kana? Look at her. She is determined as fuck. She is about to go beat these asses of these kids. Oh my god. Oh god. I felt like such a parent that day, you know, in like 20, 2017. Oh my god. That feels like forever ago, even though it was a couple of years ago. And I think at that time, because I still look the same, one thing. But at that time when I was doing that, I still had like my semi <laughs> my hair was semi long and such not braided as it is now and everything <laughs> oh god but you know if we ever get a season 3 for Kobayashi we need to see that we need, we need a redemption arc <laughs> for the sports festival <laughs> and we need Chloe A.K.A. Kana's new best friend to join in. She got fire in her. <laughs> oh, okay. Chica, you know your your say you is kind of familiar. You know who she kind of sounds like? Okay. She kind of sounds like, okay, I'm going to go, like, was my example is like Nobara, but really technically using Nobara's, you know, say you and going into the Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure route and her as Atsuka, aka Cure from Flamingo, teeny tiny bit, kind of. <laughs> You're really going to go for the money, but that's good. Like, yes, we have to praise our Queen Comey. <laughs> okay. Huh? So are we doing that stretch thing like in Animal Crossing? And there's the fan service. And then Comey. Yep, there's Comey. <laughs> and Comey, just look at me. Please don't have 
have an orgasm right now. Oh, oh God. You guys! <laughs> Y'all worse than Psycho from freaking <laughs> Main Dragon. Yes, go <laughs> You got this chuny boy. Girl, you better run like a damn dragon that's behind your ass. Just do it! If Comey cheers for him, oh. Look at it. Look at it. I was just trying. Life. <laughs> you know, like that one moment in Dragon Ball in the newer seasons. I don't know what happened, but like when Bulma got slapped, and like Vegeta was like, oh, I'm so <laughs> oh, straight up. What's up, Kami? <laughs> Excuse me. But damn. <laughs> no, it's not. 
I got no. Um, you know what, no, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this at the end! Guys, um, <laughs> oh. you did good, baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god! And the girl over here slobber up. Mm-hmm. Which is obvious. I mean, come on now. Every single time when she looks at him, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, but Comey wants to tag along. No! Don't <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's catching up with me. Am I gonna make it though?
Right. She just has a crush on him. And same with him. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> kill me. She's just scared. She's shy. Like, don't be upset. <laughs> That is literally me after I came home from work today. Well, really yesterday. By the time y'all see this. <laughs> and then it's like, hey, yeah, you gotta do all the videos, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Look at her. Like, okay, I understand. Like, he's like, yeah, you don't have to wait for me. But she's like, I wanna wait. Like, come on now. Look at baby. She wants to walk home with him. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Of course you did. <gasps> oh, hi. Everybody overheard this conversation. Oh, what about our, our female dog? Is she here as well? <laughs> oh, that's what you're gonna do. Yeah, the photo of uh, the picture coulda or pretty coulda. <laughs> Right, because baby already looks like a doll. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's cute, though. But fucking get one for her, god dang it. She had to go back when they, you know, kind of all separated. She was like, I'm determined to get to Donna one. And they exchanged her kitty cat chains. Oh my god, that's so fucking cute. I can't. Oh uh, shit, this show making me cry four in the morning. Jesus, I need to go to bed, but I gotta still finish stuff. Oh god, this was just so good. That, like, that whole last little mini story was just top tier. That was the best. Like, oh, that gave me, like, feels to, um, a goodie and that one guy from Gamers who were a couple and a couple others. Like, oh, my God, it was so fucking cute. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Let her have her cute freaking adorable moment. Fangirl, you have a future boyfriend and then she goes up from her future boyfriend. Oh my god. Like, oh. Baby. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, the love that these two have for each other. Like, oh. It, it's like, okay, you know how, like, in Bunny Girl Senpai, like, anything that my and Sokta <laughs> did together, like, I remember fangirling at, like, anything. Any little tidbit moments that they had, and then, you know, when you watch the movie, and how tear-jerking that movie is, and such, and woo, god, will I ever watch it again? Probably so, because, you know, I love the crap out of Bunny Girl Senpai. Um... It's like that, but worse with this show because it's just every little freaking thing between Comey and <laughs> it's, it's just like times a thousand and it's just like, oh my god, I freaking can't beat these two because they're just so freaking cute. Like, they didn't have to, number one, he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to give her a kitty keychain and she didn't have to do the same thing, but because these two, um, 
love each other so much and technically even though at that time we all know it's a love but to them it's just like because they both care for each other at this moment they want something to kind of really commemorate their friendship or really their relationship with each other even though they're not dating or anything because of course yes a guy and a girl can be friends without you know anything platonically in a relationship and just like that but they're just so freaking cute together that every single week ever since you know that first episode when they were communicating on the chalkboard and i'm really kind of hoping that the final episode of this show does something very similar to that i mean i think to to really start a first episode like that for this series was just really phenomenal and it makes me wonder how this show is going to end and like the next because because uh, um, ne the show ends next week for japan because i know like episode 11 recently just came out it is the 17th so it's officially still friday for me by the time you guys see this um episode 11 came out on wednesday so yeah i was at work um so of course they're not gonna be subtitled until like monday ish but i mean just i re like i said i really truly hope that we get something like that again because i think probably this is gonna be one of those like top top romance animes for me specifically and then looking on to the next thing it's gonna be really hard for like the next type of quote-unquote romantic as show to like up their stakes because like with Hori Mia, uh, like, psh, oh my god, freaking Hori Mia. That, like, upped it really, really, like, so freaking much. But then with this show, they were like, let's go to the next fucking level. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is some supernova-ish, like, just to start a first episode like that. Once again, phenomenal. But, I mean, I loved it. I, I loved, like I said, getting them cute keychains so fucking cute. It, it's very similar to uh, the situation or really the relationship of Kukuru and Fuka from the Aqua Top and White Sand series, where eventually these two both got first penguin keychains to commemorate their friendship and their journey together with the end of Gamma Gamma and moving on from Gamma Gamma Aquarium to the Tingata uh, uh, Aquarium and then eventually achieving their dreams and their goals from that series. But yeah, even with the fact that we have two episodes left, and I'm still hoping and praying that that one, um, Garu type character eventually does make an appearance because like I said we got two weeks left with the show before it's done technically really more or less one so hopefully she does make an appearance because I'm like this show's all, almost over and she's not here yet so where the hell you at girl but yeah the chick from the the sports festival very interesting really want to know who she's voiced by <laughs> but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of komi san can communicate if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys either sometime next week for episode 11 or i will probably wait one more extra week to just like I did with episodes eight and nine, do the last two episodes together just to get one big old video slash finale out for you guys. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.